Hey team, do you have an aerobic step <laughs> and a set of hand weights? Then you can do this workout with me. I got a 20 minute total body hit plan for you. I'll see you during the workout. Hey, hey, let's get warm. Go ahead and pull out your aerobic step. We're just gonna start with some little toe taps. Reach up, pull down, and acquaint yourself with your aerobic step. You're gonna draw your elbows into your back pocket, belly button into your spine, Okay, old school. Let's take it to a heel dig. So heel dig, I just want you to get used to stepping on that step, off that step. This is a good chance for you to find out if your risers are hooked in. So I have two risers on each side. All right, we're gonna step up. Let's lead with the right leg. Reach up and down. Good, right and right. Whole foot on every time. Whole foot off. Belly button in. I'm gonna call this right basic for my steppers. You know what it is. Good, three, two, one, let's switch legs. Left side, up and down. Reach up, pull down. Okay, so if you don't have an aerobic step, that's cool. You can do this on a stair, <laughs> preferably at the bottom of the stairs though. <laughs> one more, let's take it wide and narrow. So out, out, and in. Right and right. So I, this is the V step, right? Out, out, I like to do the arms with it but you could always just march the arms. One more, left leg out and in. So if you're doing the arms, kind of hit that pose. Up, up, down, down. Whole foot on. Now the goal of this, get your heart rate up. Burn some calories, get you warm. One more. All right, take the same leg to the corner, tap and switch. Tap and switch. So basic here, alternating sides. Hitting the corner. Good. Belly button in. Can we add? Knee lift right there. Pick up that knee. And march those arms, please. Whole foot with a gentle twist. We got four more. Chest is lifted. Last one. Stay here, let's hamstring curl on the floor. Hamstrings. Heel into your glutes. Kneecap down. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see to the floor. Stretch out those quads. One more. All right, squat down, down, and lift. Okay, we're gonna move on to our strength training portion. Sing it to those hips. Last two, and one. All right, go grab those weights. Okay, my, I have eights today. Hopefully something light-ish. Not too heavy, so we're doing lots of reps. Stack the right foot. You're gonna take it out to the side and down with control. Lateral raises, up nice and slow. Knuckles to the sky, belly button in. Good. Now I only have my foot on there just to keep my back nice and strong. You could always take your foot off and do this on the floor. Totally fine. This is why you have lightweights because this is heavy. Control, one more. Lift it. All right, rack those weights on your shoulder. I'm gonna have you pick up your back heel, take it to a lunge, step up. Lunge into the floor, step up. Now, if that's too much, once again, do these on the ground. One more, switch legs, other leg on there. So we're taking it to a T, you know what to do. You've done it before, out to the side and down with control. So option here is you can just have one foot on the floor, staggered in front of the other, only come to shoulder height. You got about four more, come on. Lift it up, two, three, seven, eight. Lift, good, two more. Shoulders should be talking to you. Last one, prepare to rack it. We're gonna pick up the right heel, lunge down, bring it into the step, do it again. Excellent, front knee over that front ankle. Good, squeeze to the top. You got one more. Now stay up on this one. I'm gonna have you alternate. Squat and then lunge. So right here, take it down low. Rise up. Now left leg steps off. Lunge. Rise up. Do the squat first. Chest stays lifted. Now right leg to the floor. Lunge it. You got it? Let's go tempo. Here we go. Squat, right, sorry, left lunge. <laughs> squat, right lunge. It was my right. <laughs> Give me some credit, folks. Center. Squat. Can we add a triple pulse? Pulse it for three. Three, two, up to the top. Now take the left leg back. Three, two, to the top. Squat for three. 
Now right leg back, pulse it. Three, two, are you burning? I'm burning with you, down. Left leg, step back like you're on railroad tracks. Squat for three, pulse at the bottom, bounce it. Then right leg back. Woo! All right, turn to the side here. You're just gonna step off to the front and then center to the back. Good, you know what to do, right? Just side squat. Squat, squat down and then push into your center leg to come up to the middle. A little faster, down and up, down and up. So we lost our beat for a second. Hold tight, it's gonna come back. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> I'm off the beat, I know. <laughs> hang tight, hang tight. One more. All right, I'm gonna have you come off to the front, squat it down, tap that leg, little lift, and then do the whole thing again. Step it down, little squat, tap on your balance, a little lift. Can we do it on the tempo a little faster? Here we go, three, two, one, down. Tap, lift, two, good, lift. So you could do this not facing sideways. You could do it off to the side of your step. Woo, can we put it together? No tap in the middle. Just squat and lift, squat and lift. So I'm gonna show you side profile here. If I can get over there. That's what it would look like if you chose not to face sideways, and that's okay. One more. Switch legs, step to the back, squat slow. Find your balance, tap the step, and then a side leg raise. Good, let's do it again. Sink low, find your balance, and then side leg raise. A little bit faster, but not quite tempo yet. So squat with a little tap, leg raise to the top. Squat, little tap, leg raise to the top. And I'm just gonna come off to the side so you can see the other profile. Okay, we're gonna cut the tap. Just squat and raise. Here we go. Squat. Lift. Lift. Yes, you can. Come on, come on. Stay with me. Now, you if you're facing sideways, cool. That's where we were before. One more. Come on off. Woo! Shake it out. <laughs> Let's take it to some bicep curls. Give those legs a break. Curl it up to the shoulders. Resist it down. And keep your feet moving a little bit if you need it. You can march it out. Pop up those heels. Squeeze it on up. Okay, let's go a little quicker. Curl it up, up and down. Now try not to swing. It's tempting. If you have heavier weights, you might catch yourself doing like a little tuck under to get them to the top here. Up fast, down slow. Here we go. Fast, slow, slow, slow. Do it again. Slow, slow. I'm gonna come around here. So you can do this on the floor or you can do this on your step. One more. All right, I'm gonna have you stay up, rack up the shoulder. You're gonna press to the sky. Come right back in slow. Press to the sky, right back in slow. So this is a swimmer press. We got a little rotation in the shoulder. Swimmer press. Hold the 90, we're just gonna press it straight up. Lift and lower. Hold that 90 degrees. Now if you need to, you could stack one foot on your step. That kind of helps me keep my back in alignment. Hang tight. All right, hold that 90. We're gonna squeeze together like a pec deck in, out. Wearing out those shoulders here. If you want to, you can switch legs here. In and out. Squeeze together. Two and one. Press it up. Go ahead and pinch those weights together at the top. We're gonna take it into a tricep extension overhead. So you're gonna lower behind your head and then press it up. Now you can turn sideways like me, but it probably makes more sense for you to face the phone, tablet, uh, laptop, whatever you're watching on, so you can see what's going on. Good, squeeze to the top. Getting the backs of the arms. Up, up, up. Down, up, up, up. Keep your belly in tight. You can switch your lead legs. You could always have one foot on your step, your choice. Okay, we're gonna go a little faster. Down and up like this. Up, up. Now, if at any time your shoulders are getting crampy or a little angry at you, I wanna encourage you, take it to tricep kickbacks. Last one. Woo, nice job. Go ahead and set those weights down off to the side. We're gonna do some body weight work here. Make sure that they're all the way to the side so that you will not trip on them. 
Roll those shoulders down your back. Let's start with the easy step tap. Good, swing the arms out and in, out and in. Open, close. Get some blood through those shoulders. You just work a lot. A little crisscross. Excellent, last three. Here's two. All right, step over to the right of your, of your step. I'm gonna have you lift up your knee, lower it down. So you kind of do like a curtsy off the corner of that step, or maybe stair, if that's where you're at. Lift it up, find the balance. Can we go a little bit faster? Up, down, and down. Now, if that's too much, do reverse lunges instead. I get it, right? If your hips or knees are cranky, don't worry about that little twist there. Step down, switch corners, other side, slow. Pick up the knee, can you do a little curtsy? Pick it up. Now my trick for curtsies is try to load this hip like you're trying to sit on a chair, right? One more slow. Whoo, tempo as she falls, down and up. Pick a spot on the floor, stare at it. It helps with the balance, come on, come on. Up and down. Fight it, fight it. Four, three, two, and one. Woo! Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale to the top. Just a couple more here. Find your breath. Shake out those legs. Big marches. One more. Excellent. Release it. Come on down to the front of your step. I'm going to have you sit on the very edge of it. With your fingertips to me, go ahead and curl over the edge of the stair or step. Walk your heels forward. Lift up your glutes. We're gonna do a tricep dip. Here we go, nice and slow. So bring it down and up. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Now if the shoulders are cranky, pick a different move, do a push up. Maybe you do a tricep kickback. You do you, baby. One more slow. Okay, we're gonna do quicker, down and up. Down and up. Try not to lock at the top. Option here is you can make this harder by walking your heels farther forward. Oh, baby. <laughs> Two. And one. Swing your hips back. Go ahead and shake out your wrist. Take a quick little stretch here. Walk up that head. Other side. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to have you extend your right leg. Toe is externally rotated. Left foot on the floor under your left knee. Hands on that step behind you. Zip up your core. I'm going to have you lift and lower. Just up and down. Up and down. So I don't know if you can see. I'll turn sideways. I'm trying to target the inner thigh here. A little bit of your VMO. Fastest medial, medialis oblique. Hold at the top. Hold it. And lower. Do it again. Three more times. Hold it. How straight is your back? Hold the top. The answer is very straight, right? Hold the top. Step it in. Switch legs. Other leg. Just point that toe out. Lift and lower. Now this move really helped me with my knee problems that I've experienced in the last few years. Strengthening that most inner quadricep has helped to stabilize my knee. Three count hold, here we go. Hold and down, nice and slow. Do it again, hold it, down, it was easy. Everyone be do it, right? It's not easy. You got one more, lift it, ow, nice job. <laughs> go ahead and stand on up. I'm gonna have you take your step off of the risers if you're choosing to use risers today. And then just kick your risers out of the way. I had four, maybe you have two, maybe you have six. Depends on what kind of overachiever you are. Hand, um, left hand is gonna hold the riser, the step, like it's a bar. Your right leg is gonna do some work here. Let's step it back. Take a reverse lunge and then a straight leg lift. Woo! Reverse lunge. Straight leg lift. Now, some of you could do this without holding on. Do you, baby? This helps me get a little deeper. So I'm not working on balance so much. I'm working on range of motion. Lift. One more. Excellent. Step squat. Step slow. And lift to the side. Step slow. This is there if you need it. If you don't need it, just do body weight. Hold on to a wall, right? One more. Woo! Now both. You're going to take that reverse lunge, straight kick, then a squat, side lift. Good, good. See if you can keep your hips level. That's the challenge for me. 
Take one more on the side. Whew. Squeeze, and then I'm gonna have you turn and face your step. Go ahead and let your elbows rest on it. You're gonna take that same leg that just worked and lift to the back diagonal. Pull the belly button in, here we go. Lift and lower. Soften your standing knee so that you have a nice base. Relax the toes on that standing foot. Good, let's see if we can find a beat here. Oh, squeeze your butt. Lift. Lift. Elongate your spine and your leg. Like someone's pulling your leg back. A nice arabesque. Here's two. And one. Hold the top. Let's circle, circle, circle. Now this part, you're going to want something to hold on to for balance. If you don't have a step, you can lift like this. Get the head down to the floor. And this on all fours. Woo! <laughs> and release. Let's switch sides. Put in your right hand. Left leg's going to lunge. If you guys remember the first move, it's a reverse lunge to a straight leg kick. Set it up. Set it up. Roll those shoulders. We're going to wait for the phrase. Three, two, one. Lunge it back. Straight leg raise. I should have offered this option last time, but if that's a lot for your low back, you can always do a knee lift. We did those earlier with the curtsies. Good. One more set. Down and up. Lift that belly button in. I'm gonna get the glute, quad, and hamstring on that standing leg. A little bit of hip flexor, core, and balance. Good. Squat to the left. Good. Let's tap it. Side leg raise. It doesn't have to be high. And if you don't want to hold on to anything, you can just try to test your balance. Try to keep yourself square. Whew. I'm starting to burn here. <laughs> Sometimes you don't need much to break a sweat to train your body. Whew. Keep your chest up, Tara. One more. All right, we're going to combo one lunge and then kick. Then a squat. Side raise. We should know these now, right? Rock them. Lunge, straight front kick. Work on that lower body. Whew. Whew. One more set, come on. Lunge it back. Now, if you like aerobic step workouts, leave it in the comments, give it a like, so that I know, hey, make some more stuff using a step. I don't know if you guys have a step. Good, now turn diagonal. Rest your forearms on your step or chair or bar. You're going to lift and lower. Soft standing leg. The second side is doing that arabesque straight back. You can look down on the floor. Helps the balance. <laughs> lift and lower. So if you guys have a step or something you could use for this kind of workout, somehow let me know, right? Communicate with the video. Woo. Okay, we're getting ready to hold it. Point the toe. Let's circle. Here we go circle. Now this is the one where you're going to need something to hold on to most likely because that's a lot of balance. Your front leg is working. The standing leg is almost working more than the moving leg. Three, two, and rest. Woo, nice job. Go ahead and let your step come on down. If you have a very hard step, go ahead and put a mat on top of it so that it won't hurt your back. You're going to lie all the way down the length of the step with weights in your hands. Once again, light to medium. So we're gonna do a lot of reps. Head down last, feet flat on the floor. Here we go, press over the chest. You're gonna out to a chest fly, and then center it up. And then bend your elbows and extend your elbows. So you got a combo here, chest fly. Good, and then you're gonna take a skull crusher. Excellent, keep going here. Open for four, and then aim over the chest. Almost there. Out. Good. Tricep. All right. I'm going to have you go ahead and bend your elbows. Take them out wide like you're doing a chest press. And then kick one leg to the sky. Lower the head, shoulders. Kick the other leg to the sky. So you're doing a little combo move here. You have a chest press with a crunch and a kick. Can we do a little faster? Here we go. Down and up. Down and up. So I wanted to try to target as much as I could in 20 minutes. And I know I didn't get it all. I wanted to, but 20 minutes is short. Good, come on, come on. So I can always make another one with a little more back focus. Last two, last one. 
Whew. Release those weights. Go ahead and set them down safely by your sides. I'm going to have you grab the edges of your step here. Lift your legs up. Float them over your hips. I'm going to have you take a leg dip. So you're going to dip one leg to the floor and then lift it right back up. Other leg. Dip it down to the floor and right back up. You can rest your head for these ones. I'm going to offer an option here. You can bend your knees. And just tap your toe, right? Okay, let's go a little bit faster. Here we go. Dip down, lift up. Dip down, lift up. Option, you can bend your knees. Now, I like gripping the edges of my step to kind of help me brace my core. <sighs> yep, hang in there. Okay, both legs, bicycle pedal. Here you go. Down, two, three. Bend your knees up to the top. Let's go. Down. Can you keep your belly engaged? So much so that there's no room underneath your low back for me to slide my hand in there. No room. <sighs> Woo, one more set. Four times. Here we go. Circle the bicycle. Pedal around. Seven, eight. It should be burning. You're doing it right. Here's your last one. Make it good. Big circle. And rest. Hug those knees. Circle your ankles. Rock your head right and left. Go ahead and safely place your feet down and pull yourself up to the seat. Nice workout today. If you would like to do one of my stretch videos, please feel free to string that onto the end of this one. Thank you so much for working out with me, and I'll see you in the next one.